Alright, so this video should have been made pretty much about three months ago. But what we're going to look at is how to add Vilify free to a Nux free project. It can be a little bit confusing, maybe at first, because there is no official setup guide for this. We're going to CD into um, projects view. Uh, YouTube view and I'm actually going to be using Vim um for this year. Alright, so now first thing that I want to do is to actually create the Nux project. So we're going to use NPX um Nuxy, the CLI in it, and we're going to be creating a project called Vidify 3 Nux 3. Click on enter, this should be created extremely quickly. We're going to cd into here. And uh, what I prefer to do instead of this is that if I need any additional dependencies for my projects, I usually just add them here and then it will just automatically do the install as well. So I'm going to do a yarn add dev. We're going to need Vilify. So we're going to just add this and it will automatically do the install as well. So let's go ahead and install these. All right, so now that that is added, we can now go ahead and do some additional configs. So there is one optional dependency that I could have added and that is the MD um, font. And I'm gonna add that later on cause this is just for the basic setup here. We need view um, Nux 3 is a little bit more minimalistic as opposed to um, Nux 2. You can see that all we have are these um, files and folders in here so what i want to do is to create a plugins um, directory and also a plugins file for vidify so i'm going to go ahead and create plugins directory and then we're going to use vim to create um, the file in here so i'm going to call it vidify.ts and um, because i am a little bit lazy i'm going to go over here i have um the docs pull up here. I'm going to go to get started and um, we are going to essentially copy these configs. So all of these import statements, you could type this out if you want, that's really up to you. Um, just so I don't make any mistakes, I am just going to copy and paste them. So essentially what we're adding is we're importing the Vidify styles and what I've noticed that a lot of um, the tutorials, they have, they're adding SAS and view or SAS loader, which is for me, I don't think that's, uh, I feel like that's more of a, an optional dependency or just an additional unnecessary dependency because Vue actually gives us the styles. Um, so you don't necessarily have to really, um, I guess, build those out or load those um, up unless you're using like SAS otherwise, then that's really up to you. Then we're going to be adding or create Vidify, um there and also adding all the components, all the directives. So now we need to export um, our default plugin here so let's go ahead and do a define nux plugin we also need the nux app because this is going to be useful for us to get um this is going to be useful for us to get the view app so let's go ahead and create our app our function and then all we need here is to copy this bar to create the view the vidify instance essentially um, so let's format this a bit and um, there we go. So once we have this, we're pretty much set, but there's one um, thing that I want to add here and that is SSR true. And th this is because by default, Nox in general is um, SSR by default, uh, however, Nox three or view three i should say um does not has no way of automatically detecting if we're using ssr um so we have to manually check for it in the framework so that's what we're going to be doing and this is you so that we can um to properly um, render the application so this is not you don't have to add this so i'm just going to add that this is optional and what it does is that it detects, well, it detects, detect if 
um, SSR is used. So I think that just adding that won't hurt. So and it's it's good. So why not? Next thing is to actually use this thing. So the same way that we that we've used it right down here. So we're just getting the the view app so that we can use it. Um, so we're just say Nox app and then we're going to do view app capital A dot use and then we're just gonna add vidify here close these out save and then that is pretty much it for our config so we're going to go ahead and go to our um, Nox config now and actually we're gonna need to transpile transpile the Vidify, so we're just gonna build, transpile, and um, we'll just add a Vidify array to the array here. Close this out, and that is it. Final thing that we need to do for this setup is to actually test it. That's pretty much it for the setup and installation. Only thing that we need to do is just to test this to see if it is actually working. So let me clear that out, get a component here and um we can grab this one and i'm actually grabbing this for a specific reason and i'll show you afterwards so we'll paste that in here save and quit and clear this out so that i can do a yarn dev on this and um so this is loading and it's going to take a while because we have to build it and it takes like 900 milliseconds which um it's okay but could do better well not okay we, we can do better a lot better all right awesome so now you can see that we have our component working and that is pretty much it for the setup um there is just one thing that we're missing and that is the icon that is right here and again as i had mentioned this is optional um you can add your own different font or icon library it's really up to you but for this because vidify by default essentially has um was using um was using this or is still using it i think it's a good way especially for a basic setup so we're going to add md slash font and we're going to add this now So once we have that, we'll just go ahead and add the config to the, the plugin. So let's go ahead and um, again, lazy. So I'm just gonna copy this right here and um, paste it right in there. Save that. And we can do a yarn dev again. And we're gonna look at how long this is going to take us. Um, so it took a little bit longer than the last time. It was 9.11, well, um, 911 actually. And uh, it's still warming up. So let's go ahead and um, open. Well, it's already open, so it's reloading. But now you can see that everything is pretty much set um, well. Uh, but what we're going to um, see here is that there are some caveats to this approach. So while it is quick and simple, it has the issue where it imports pretty much all the components and all the directories, even if we're not using them essentially in our final build, which is going to be bad for performance at the end of the day, especially um, in production. And um, this is where the next approach is going to come into play, where we're going to look at tree shaking. So Vidify comes with plugins for both Webpack and Vid that enables automatic tree shaking. And what will this will do is just enable a drastically lower build size because it will just automatically add only the components that was used in the application into the final build um, to our project. And optionally, what you can do is you can actually just manually import um, the components that you need. So for example, if you're only using um, the V tooltip or something like that, you can just add that alone and not necessarily add all of the directives or um, all of the components into your project.